Kim Keeley and this is Voice of a Creative and today I'm here to talk to you about the fabric and patterns that I bought at the Like So Amazing and So Scrumptious pop-up shop. So this weekend I made my way into the centre of Bristol and I went to this really cute little space called The Hour Space and it's a little studio space and So Scrumptious and Like So Amazing had set up all their fabrics there so there were tables and tables of lots of different fabrics for people to have a look at and to make some purchases as well. Now I really took my time deciding what to buy. I've bought quite a bit of fabric recently and I wanted to make sure that the things that I bought were things that I was definitely going to use or were going to be a bit of a challenge or something I haven't worked with before. So I did take quite a bit of time to just look at the fabrics and choose and feel them and that is a great thing with a pop-up shop or going into a fabric shop you actually get to feel the fabrics and that's something that you don't get to do when you're um, shopping online so that was really nice and also you could talk to other people there about what you were buying and see what they were buying and see what they might be making with it so I'm just going to go through the things that I bought so the first is I finally found a jeans pattern to make so I chose this one which is the Ash Jeans by Megan Nielsen and I decided to go to, for this one over the Ginger Jeans just because there are a few more versions to choose from. So there's the different leg um, widths and things and I thought that that would just be really good for me because it means I can make different ones. And also I decided to go for the paper pattern as well because I've had quite a lot of success with the Hudson pants actually tracing off the pattern to make um, different sizes and make different garments. So I thought it would be the same with this. Um, so I won't be cutting into this pattern. I will be uh, tracing the bits that I want just in case I don't quite get the size right straight away. Um, so that's what, I'm, that's what I bought the first one. So this is one of my summer plans. So I wanted to do a little bit more slow sewing over the summer and I think making jeans would be fantastic for that as well. My first fabric is this one. So this is a wine corduroy and I bought a metre of it and I am planning to make a York pinafore out of this. So I've made the York pinafore a couple of times now and it takes only about a metre of fabric and so I bought this to try that. I know that Helen has been posting a few hacks on her blog recently and th they're really inspiring so I think I'm going to do a slight hack, um, maybe with a slight gathered um, skirt. I'm not quite sure yet but I'm going to do it with this fabric and I really love this colour um, as well. I think it's a really lovely colour on me and I'm looking forward to making that into a pinafore. The next fabric I got was this one, so this is a mid blue tencel. Now I've never sewn with um, tencel before, it's a different fabric for me um, and I think I'm going to make some marigold trousers. So there was a, a lady there um, at the pop-up shop and she was had just made some marigold trousers and I was kind of admiring them from afar and they looked really, um, really comfortable but also perfect for the hot weather we've been having. So I decided to buy this to give those a try. Uh, so I'm trying out a different trouser pattern and this has got a really lovely drape uh, to it but it's not see-through so it means that I will just be able to do one layer of this and it should drape really beautifully it should work well with that pattern and yeah it'll be really lovely and that will be my first Tilly pattern as well because I actually haven't sewn any patterns from Tilly and the Buttons as yet it, that's that one so that one was a bit more expensive but for this quality it feels lovely and soft it drapes beautifully and you know for just using one layer I think that's going to be really fantastic my next one is a bit of a winter fabric uh, now Sarah did say she was wondering whether she should bring it along or not but she decided to and actually loads of people were buying it so it's this so it's teal and cream kind of off-white um, French terry and it's a sweatshirting it is really beautiful and fluffy and soft on the inside and I'm going to use this to make my first hoodie so I haven't got a pattern in mind for this yet I haven't been able to find kind of a standard hoodie pattern if you do know of any please comment below to let me know because I would love to have a pattern 
Otherwise, it might be a case of just looking at some of the hoodies I've already got and kind of making up a pattern or maybe using my raglan sleeve kind of jumper pattern and then just like cutting it in the middle and kind of adding some for the, for the zip. I don't know. Um, but again, really looking forward to making this. It's going to be so soft and cosy and really nice colours as well. And I think this will go with a lot of the things in my wardrobe, the navy that I've got. So that's that one. The last fabric is this. And this is a stretch uh, denim and this will be for um, using with my jeans patches. Now I know I've bought a few denims recently but once I kind of make one pair of jeans I'm imagining that I'm going to go straight on to another pair and so I'd like to have the denim available for me to do that. And also if I go wrong um, it really frustrates me to have to wait and get more denim and then have to like use that again. Um, and I'd like to just get on, straight on. So that is that one, stretch denim. So really nice quality, a really good weight as well. Um, it's got quite a bit of stretch, so across this way. Um, so I think that that's gonna be really nice to use. I haven't washed um, that one yet. I'm gonna, it's in the pile to be washed with all the other fabrics. And the last thing I got, now I ended up buying all of those fabrics and Sarah was doing an offer that if you uh, spent over a certain amount of money, you would get a uh, patch free. And then if you spent another amount of money, you would get a bag free. So I got this awesome bag. So it is the socialist bag. So I've already bought a patch that has this on. I'm thinking about sewing that onto my hoodie maybe. And now I've got this lovely bag. So these are up on her website. They're six pounds each. Um, really lovely, especially if you're going to sew meetups and as a quick bag to just carry around. Um, it's really good. And then I also got this one, which is the socialite patch. So I've got the socialist patch and now I've got the socialite patch. So I was still thinking of a project to add these on to. Recently I've just been making dresses and kind of vest tops and I'm not sh quite sure that an iron on patch goes with those things for me, um, mainly because of the pink as well. So I'm looking for, to put it on something that's a bit more neutral, maybe on top of a navy um, or a grey um, and I will be able to put those on. So that's going to be really cool. I did also um, eye up some fabrics from So Scrumptious but I was really good and didn't buy any because I have got a few woven fabrics in my stash already and I haven't made anything from them yet so I might do that this summer but they have had a beautiful selection of fabrics and there are quite a few that caught my eye but I will be having a look online when I get to that stage of wanting to buy a few more woven fabrics to see what catches my eye again and I will definitely be buying from there. So I had a really good time at the pop-up shop. It was nice to meet a few more sewists and see that actually Bristol has a lot of um, kind of sewing people. There were some people there who travelled from a bit further away, but it's hard to resist when you know a fabric shop is going to do a pop-up shop when they're normally online. Um, and it's really nice to go and have a look at the fabrics and kind of talk to the um, fabric store owners as well. So I'm just going to tell you about what I'm wearing. So this is again is my self-drafted dress. Um, I've just come from work basically so I'm still wearing what I wore to work and this is in a fabric, a jersey fabric that I bought from eBay a couple of years ago so I'm just getting to the end of my stash of eBay kind of fabrics that I bought. They were end of roll fabrics um, and so that's why I am buying a few more fabrics because I like to have a certain amount of fabric ready um, especially for the summer when I'm going to be making quite a few dresses. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press the thumbs up and subscribe if you want to hear more from me. Goodbye.